Although this video features several historical characters, it takes place entirely in a modern day museum. Black text turn white background reads, Duct Tape Production presents The Emancipation in Me. A group of kids watches a video in a museum. They all look very bored. In 1863, Lincoln wrote a famous document known as the Emancipation Proclamation. This document affected On the first day of January, all persons out of slaves shall be. A few of them look around, curious about the mysterious voice. What was that? Shh. Did, did you hear something? Of course I heard something. There's a movie playing dog. No. Not that. A ranger walks in. Never mind. Well, with that, guys, if you want to follow me, I'll take you to a particular part of Harper's Ferry that holds a special significance today. So come on, let's go. As everyone stands up, one boy, Sam, lags behind. Fence forward and forever free. He looks around, then walks into a back room in the museum. There are several mannequins in the room, one of which resembles Abraham Lincoln. The Lincoln mannequin glows and steps forward. Hello there. So you got my message? Who said that? Oh, I'm sorry I startled you. Would you please tell me the date? Uh, January 1st, 2013. Do you know why it's date and so forth? No. Well, let me show you. Lincoln leads Sam to a mannequin of Robert E. Lee. Do you remember this fellow? Of course, it's Robert E. Lee. When the Emancipation Proclamation was enacted, it applied only to the states in rebellion. Naturally, it was very unpopular with the people in the South. Lincoln snaps, and Lee comes to life. Mr. Lincoln, I regret that I am not in the proper attire for such a meeting. It's quite all right, Mr. Lee. I was just telling Sam here about the Emancipation Proclamation. Would you care to comment? Indeed. With all due respect, Mr. Lincoln, your savage and brutal policy is an outright blow to the rights of the state and our property. We will make every effort to fill the ranks of our armies until we are blessed with the establishment of our independence. Well, I think we've heard enough from him. Come along, Sam. Lincoln leads Sam to two other mannequins. Even some people in the North disagree with the whole premise of the emancipation. He snaps. Why, you dirty dog! You yellow belly sap sucker! Gentlemen, would you please state your case? Good to see you, Mr. President. This crooked-minded vagabond before me here does not see the political advantages of our decree. Mm. Mr. President, this barking two-legged dog does not understand that this document will only serve to the South's will to fight us, thus prolonging this bloody conflict. Sounds like Harper's Ferry was especially effective. At a window, Lincoln snaps and a group of people dressed in historical clothes appears in the street below. You see, Sam, in occupied places such as Harpers Ferry, many of the faces on the street were former slaves who sought safety with the army. However, their counterparts just across the river in Maryland were still enslaved. A decision I regret to have been forced to make, yet it was necessary in order to keep the peace and keep border states like Maryland, Delaware, and Missouri from leaving the Union. Lincoln leads Sam to a room where two women mannequin scrub clothes and a man stands over them. Now I want to show you the most important fact of the Emancipation Proclamation. He snaps and they come to life. Good people, why are you still working? You are all free now. Thank you so much, Mr. Lincoln. I've always dreamed of owning my own property, my children getting a proper education. One day that will come. They walk back to the first room. And now you know our story. As you can see, this measure had far-reaching effects, but for me, the battle was far from over. It would still be another two years before slavery was officially outlawed by the Constitution, and this horrible war was ended. Wow, Mr. Lincoln, I had no idea this was such an important and interesting day in history. The ranger walks in. <laughs> Here you are, buddy. We've been looking all over for you. Oh, it's okay. I was just talking to Lincoln. The ranger looks around. Lincoln stands frozen. Who are you talking about? Sam walks out. Thanks, Ed. Lincoln winks. Yellow text on a white background reads, Director, Sean Austin, Screenwriters, Lily Bentley, Trey Nick, Storyboard artist, Brian Long, Videographers, Haley Moberly, Tyler Smallwood, Film Editors, Malachi Knudsen, Adrian Lowe, Sound Slash Music Editors, Zach Knott, Kayla Rifke, 
Costumers Sabrina Samborski, Sean Pickcock, starring Dylan Hardy, Arthur Marquette, with Sean Austin, Lily Bentley, Morgan Bowles, Ashton Byers, Noah Cunningham, Kylie Day, Hannah Kraken, Brian Long, Adrian Lowe, Sean Pickcock, Kitty Rice, Alexandra Whalen. Special thanks to Phil, Bane, Autumn, Joker, Rob, Batman. Credits continue for several more seconds.